houses. Yeah. But even here, he says, home values are being undermined by what is just minutes away. Do not resuscitate properties like 1711 Donald, which is now almost half gone, and so far it's been less than 10 minutes into its deconstructive surgery. But when the empty houses are gone, then what? What goes here? And that's where Kildee's plan gets really wild. And we do mean wild. Take away this this block from ever right. being inhabited again. Oh, right, right. Something green. Everything we see before us, you see this someday being, and soonish, yeah. a field or a forest. Mm -hmm. It can be maybe a productive part of this larger area as open land or a, gar a big you know, a uh, forest of trees. And just then, with perfect timing, a local named James strolled up, loving what he heard. If the bulldozer shows up one day and knocks every other house down on this block... I'd help him. <laughs> You'd help him. <laughs> well, of course, and the, the truth of the matter is his house would improve in value immediately. Yeah, right. House. If all these houses got torn down, his house would go up in value. Meanwhile, Rush Limbaugh, day two of his harangue, only now he was saying... If you're going to bulldoze 40% of Flint, and bulldozing 40% of Flint will not cause people to return and have it grow, why not bulldoze it all? This is not the sort of idea that Flint's brand new mayor, Dane Walling, wants in circulation. He is calling for a whole new rethink on how to match the city's housing to its needs, one he hopes will emphasize building new homes. But shrinking is a... It's a temporary uh, phase. I don't want it to become a state of mind for this community. And that is Kildee's challenge. It is perception. He does not want to push people out of their homes. He would like to pay some to relocate, but there's no money for that right now. But that bigger perception thing he faces, this is America. We grow. We don't shrink. Does the word shrink apply? It does. Um, and it's an intentionally provocative term. What about surrender? But we would, well, it's not surrender. It really isn't surrender. But it is a kind of vanishing act, by which we mean 1711 Donald, 20 minutes. That's about all it took to take it down. Same with all of the houses they went after that Monday morning. And by Monday afternoon, the cleanup complete, it was as though those homes had never existed at all. I'm John Donvan for Nightline in Flint, Michigan. Wow. Wow. Forest land in Flint, Michigan, one house at a time. Thanks to John Donvan for that.